what is going on guys welcome back to another video now first i need to apologize because i have the flu and it's actually difficult for me to talk at the moment but anyways i've been doing a lot of uh, tissue culture lately and i have a lot of uh, uh, tissue culture containers that are left i don't have any use for them uh, i don't have any more space or i don't have the the time to deal with them uh, so essentially um, i just want to sell them um, let's see if i just can make a little bit of money uh, by doing that and well what i did is uh, i went to facebook uh, all of these are carnivorous plants so i went to a uh, carnivorous plants uh, groups on facebook and i um, sold them as an auction so i placed them in a like a 24 hour auction which is something kind of kind of fun to do it's something that uh, well i actually i just finished i have all the numbers here i don't have an, i don't have a final number yet um but it is something fun just to go to the auction and they just put in um seeing who is winning everything but anyways uh so i just want to go pretty quick to all of these plans and then just do the final calculation to see how much money i made um now i this uh took me i mean like i say it's a 24 hour action but it's this something that it was only basically an hour of, of work or less than an hour of work so let's see how much money i made so the first plan that i have for auction is this one that i don't even want to try to say the name it's a pinguicola so this one sold for fifty-five dollars. This container, so that's pretty good uh, price uh, point for me and for the whoever bought this plant, uh, because it, it, I probably have probably at least uh, thirty to fifty plants in here, and pinguicolas are very easy to deplant and they acclimate very easy uh, to outside conditions. So you you will get a very high um, um, success percentage success with with pinguicola. So I got fifty-five dollars. So Let's put that in. Let's keep my calculations here. Um, next, I got the same uh, name, the same pinguicula, but this is a different container. This will have a little bit bigger plants. Some of these are even flowering, but less plants. This one sold for $39. $39. And All right. So I'm going to try to keep a count somewhere in here um, for the total. Uh, next, uh, the same plant, same, exactly the same. It's just like this kind of intermediate. It has um, probably about twenty to thirty plants, and some of these uh, are a little burned, uh, but they still look good. Uh, quite a few flower stalks as well. This one sold for thirty-six dollars. Uh, let's see what is next. Ooh, I don't have them in order. All right, oh, this is number four. Uh, this is um, Drosera calincia. Um, this one, uh, no, I, this one is contaminated. I did place uh, a note that I was saying contaminated, so whoever bought it, it was aware that this plant was contaminated. It still um, can get out quite a lot of plants from here. You uh, probably have at least. Uh, 30 to 50 plants in this uh, container and this one sold um, for uh, less money this one sold for only $20 so all right number five uh, is the same plan uh, and also is contaminated um, but again uh, the seller the, the buyer is aware of that and it has uh, probably about maybe at least 30 30 plants or so in here as well and this one sold probably one of the least, well, not really. This one sold for $17. So it's five. Uh, or it's number six. It's number six. Number six is um, um, Darling Tonia Californica. A uh, lot of plants on, on this one. Uh, again, this is also has a little bit of contamination. So, again, I don't have a use for this plant. But sometimes when I have plants like this that I just have a little bit of contamination, I just sell them uh, online. And um, I mean, again, I, I say that it's contaminated, so whoever buys is aware that it's contaminated. But the other person can use the flask and then place those in um, sphagnum moss or whatever kind of soil they're using, and it's fine. Uh, so it's probably at least 50 to um, even probably close to 100 plants on this container. And this one sold for. Number six sold for twenty-two dollars, so it's, that's a pretty good deal for person who, who 
who got who won won this auction. So that's twenty two dollars. So right now we are at one eighty nine. Uh, let's see, we are on number seven. Uh, seven is a uh, Drosera capillaries. Uh, this is doing very well. Very nice container with a bunch of uh, roots and a lot of plants. Probably over a hundred plants in this container. Um, and actually, this one sold for the least amount of money. I think that because I made a mistake and on on the um, um, on the post. But anyways, this one only sold for twelve dollars. So this is a great deal for the person who bought this plant because it has probably at least a hundred plants. And Drosseras are not very difficult to acclimate out of tissue culture. So that's pretty good. So that is um, plus $12. Let's go. So we are on plan number seven and we already hit the $200 mark. So actually, it's pretty exciting. That's great. Uh, let's see. That is um, seven, eight. It's um, uh, Venus Fly Trap uh, Maroon Monster. This is a great plant. Uh, smaller plants but they will have a, a nice root so they will be fairly easy to acclimate uh, this is also a, a plant that does the trend it does very well on the transition going from tissue culture to uh, outside yeah out vitro essentially and this plant sold for this is number eight so for 25 dollars all right so that was uh, number eight number nine um is um a Venus fly traps. Um, these were supposed to be the VCX cell, but however, these are grown from seed, so that's something I put on my post. Uh, something that whoever body is aware that um, the clone is a very uh, desirable clone. It's a DCX cell. It's a fairly big plant. Whatever they are grown from seed, so that's up to them to take it how they would like to. A lot of people say that plants from seed they are. Completely a typical Venus flight traps. Uh, whatever you still get some fairly decent plants from them. Um, lots of good plants in there. Uh, they are making good clumps. Uh, probably close to thirty plants in here, I would say. And this one sold for fifteen dollars. Fifteen? Yeah, this one sold for fifteen dollars. So this sold for fairly low. Um, which, I mean, it's okay for me. That's the plans that I don't have use for them. So that's okay. That's good for whoever bought it. So right now we are at 241. Uh, 10. Uh, and also another Venus Flight Traps. Again, a DCXL. This probably has a little bit more plants. There. Less roots, but they have more plants. And this one sold for uh, $12. So less than the other one. So I, the Venus flight trap they sold for a lot less than, than what I thought, um, compared to like the, some of the other pinguiculas that I thought I thought the Venus flight traps were they were going to do a little better, but that's okay. Um, all right, um, number eleven again. This is uh, same pinguicula as the first three. Whatever I didn't when I was doing my my posting. I found out that what well, I have one extra more, uh, one more extra, so I just throw, uh, throw in the in the in the auction as well. So this one uh, has uh, probably about 20 to 30, maybe even 40 plants in here, doing very good. And this one sold for this is number 11, so for 40 dollars. So you can see the difference uh, as when I was at this point where I was. Looking at twelve dollars, uh, fifteen dollars, I was a little afraid that some of the other actions they're not going to do that well. Whatever, um, this one sold for forty, so I'm pretty happy about it. So we are close to three hundred now. Uh, Twelve pinguicola emarginata times uh, hipsicola. Very nice looking container. This is full of plants. At least a hundred plants on this uh, container, deli container. This is a sixteen ounce deli container. Plants look great, and this one sold for forty-six dollars. As as it proves that it looks pretty good. So we are at three hundred and thirty-nine dollars uh, from plants that I just have laying extra that I don't have use for. So I'm, that's pretty good. Um, number thirteen uh, is the same plant as the 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 last one. Also a lot of plants. This one probably even have a lot more plants. Whatever they are, a lot smaller, but nonetheless they look good. 
and they do very well. Uh, this one, number 13, sold for $45, so very close to the other one. P84. Uh, let's see, 14. This one is Pinguicola Heterophylla. Uh, it's a me uh, uh, cross uh, Medicina, cross uh, Gigantea. Um, looking good. Can see a big plant and a bunch of small plants. You can see it looks pretty good. Uh, yes, it is contaminated. That's also one that I put a note in there. Uh, number 14 sold for $22. So this is a great deal for um, for whoever bought it. This plant looks amazing uh, when you have a, a outside of tissue quarter. Uh, in tissue quarter, it usually stays fairly small. Um, you so sometimes I get some of these, like a bigger plant, but some of the plants, whenever you got it outside in soil with the sun, they look great. So this one sold for $22. So we cross the uh, two, uh, the four hundred dollars mark. Uh, Fifteen. Now, actually, the rest of the plants are all the same. Um, they are the same: pinguicola, heterophylla, medusina, uh, gigantea. They all the rest are the same. I was like, I just have a lot of these left, and I because I have a, all of these are the same. The price is not probably as high as I could have got if I just have waited because I just throw all of the same at the same time it's like a, oh people say well if I don't win this one I have another opportunity so the prices for the the, the rest of it they are not probably as high as I could have got but that's perfectly okay like I said these are just plans that I have extra use laying around so this one number 15 so also for $22 um, so let me try to Speed it up a little. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, 16. Also looks pretty good. And this one sold for $25. Uh, 17. And oh, most of these are probably what's going to look almost the same. 17 sold for 16. So a little bit less. Um, 17. 18. So for twenty-two dollars, nineteen. So for twenty-six dollars. So we already crossed the five hundred dollars mark. Um, twenty. Like I say most of these are going to look the same. Twenty. So for twenty-seven dollars. Twenty-one. So for $25, 22, so for $25, and 23, so again for also $25, which a total up of $619 of what I made in just, I mean, I just placed it 24 hours, but I mean, it was just an hour of me just keeping track of what I was selling so pretty much less than an hour of work I made me over six hundred dollars uh, just for plants that I didn't have a space for it or time for them like I was doing a bunch of tissue quarters so I do have a lot more of these plants as a backups um, so if I want to do this again like next month or in the future I can do it and uh, potentially get probably the same amount of money or whatever well or I can potentially get even more. Now, um, yes, I could have got a lot more money if I would take my time and actually take the plants out of tissue quarter and acclimate them and grow them and sell them individually. Yes, I could have made, I mean, each, a lot of these containers, they have almost 100 plants. And if you sell, let's say, even you sell it at, at $1 pl per plant, I would have made a lot more money. But I just don't have time for that. I don't have the space for them. And... Yeah, I mean, $619 for just a little bit of work. Um, it wasn't even feel like a work. I was just having fun, just looking on riding, who just checking who was uh, bidding. Now, the great thing about this is that from the bidding, I there were quite a lot of people bidding for the for these plants. But at the final, I only got, got a four um, person who actually won some of these plants. So that's great for me because I only had to make four packages, uh, which is also great. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, 
hope you have enjoyed it. Just a little, uh, something a little different where I usually don't do this. I usually don't sell tissue cord to plants. I you don't, I'm not in the business of selling plants either. It's just something that I just have uh, some extra laying around. And also, if you are kind of keeping, say, uh, watching all the other videos, I mean, I spend a lot more money on the uh, philodendrons. I bought, uh, let's see, five, um, six, seven, uh, close to seven philodendrons, and that was close to $1,200. So I still negative, I'm still on the red. But selling some of these plants, they cannot really help, and hopefully in the future I can probably sell more. And also the philodendrons are doing very good. I did some of the uh, propagation, I did some more uh, tissue culture today, and uh, they're growing very fast. The media that I choose is doing very well, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, but anyways, I uh, hope you have enjoyed it. Go visit plantsoftechnology.com if you want to get some tissue culture supplies. Uh, check us on uh, all the social media, and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.